Lions TV, full time from Portman Road, where it finished Ipswich Town 3, Millwall 1. It's just us three boys today, Dad's not here. Thankfully he's not here for his, uh, for his own health. How can we sum that up, lads? Thank you. I really know. Um, I'm all for patience and everything. I, I will be patient under Joe Edwards. Um, you know, I just think that tonight, I, I, I'm to chat at half time, fair play, because I went, we haven't got the players to play this system that Joe Edwards wants. And the geezer went to me and goes, listen, that side that Kieran uh, McKenna's had was exactly the same team. So I was like, one player that they had in League One last year. And he's like, so there's no point. excuse that the players ain't good enough. He goes, they finished second in a league last season and they're pissing it this season. He goes, it's the confidence and how he's got them playing. He goes, there ain't no excuse that players ain't good enough because it's the same team in League One. So, you know, I don't know. Like, tonight, it was just, it, it was very, very poor. I think the players didn't really know what to do, but... I guess we just <laughs> have to hope, be hopeful and with our patience. Yeah, I think um, conceding, uh, going one nil down early doors, I think it was like four or five minutes into the game. You just see, as the players are walking towards the centre circle, you just look like none of them seem to you know, lead or like none of them really. So they all just look very depleted. Um, and I felt like there wasn't, that much of a leader there to like lift the lads up and say come on lads like it's only mm. early or what not but um, and then conceding the second goal I just felt like it was going to be one way traffic the first half I think we was poor um, for me half, well. yeah second okay. half we were second half again we was poor but you, you could see what I sort of feel like I can see what Joe Edwards is trying to do the intricate play like we've got players who are like trying to pass it do short passes quick intense passes to one another but there's there just seems like there's no conversation on the pitch there's no talking it's like players are making these short passes and it's like sometimes you need to look up turn and see the space you've got in front of you there's certain times where oh, I don't know, there's just certain times where we are trying to do these spells of football but we're just going nowhere with it it's like we're then we're giving the ball away and then we're getting attacked. So it's we was quite open at the back in the first half. Uh, I feel like Ipswich were toying with us for most of the game, in all honesty. I mm. think they could have made it five or six, to be fair. But Bart, again, made a couple of yeah. decent saves right. right at the death there. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a lot, of our, a lot of our spells, in terms of trying to go forward, we was very reliant on the right-hand side, Norton Cuffey and... Um, Imaku, but these players can't do it on their own. They've got—I know they've got pace, but you can't do it on your own. There's and no there's one times, else at the same level as them. Yeah, I feel, I feel, it's like, I feel like if we're trying to do these intricate passes, we need all players to be close to one another. But it's not happening. It's just—it's. And I know we get what Kieran's saying. We have to be patient. Um, and Joe Edwards came over at the end of the game. You sort of see him trying to like apologise to the fans. So it must have been like it was his fault. Um, but yeah, first things first, I think we need to work on our fitness as a team, personally. We need to work on our be. fitness. Um, and we need to work on trying to stay calm on the ball, defenders and midfielders. Because it's like, we I feel like at certain times we've got a lot more time on the ball than what we think. I feel like, you know, when you see a good team, like to be fair, like I, I, I have to give it to each other, they're a good side. Um, when they break, they break in numbers. And then when they're defending, they defend in numbers. They're very box to box, and I think that that actually comes down to fitness. Um, and I think that you know they do it very well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I actually don't really feel like I've watched Ipswich a lot this season, and they played a lot better than that. And they don't really think they got out of first gear when no, in the I second didn't. half they kind of took their, their foot off the pedal and uh, and kind of allowed us to play half decent football. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think. If they could have actually, they went for it. It could have been five or six tonight. Mm. But there seems to be becoming this gap in the championship now because a lot of these teams were coming up against Bath Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, we looked like world beaters against them. We all got a bit overexcited, but it's, it's been, a, been a far cry from that the last two games. And Ipswich look worlds above us today. Uh, mm. As Kieran said, they took their foot off the gas second half really. It was so comfortable first half for them, and the way we just got—I've never listen un, under Rowett, Personally, I don't think we 
could would have conceded three goals like that in the first half. I, I think I think it was um, a matter of the goals as well. The yeah, goals we that just look yeah. so very open. Poor. We've conceded the easy goals, goals and poor. listen, it. I, I'm all for giving the manager time. We've got to be patient. It's only three games in, and um, goals like it's, that, it's a transition yeah. period. But at the end of the day, that was very very poor today. Make no bones about it. It was lacklustre, spineless. We was poor at the back. And poor in the sometimes middle, we were good at, good at the back under Rowett and people say we had no idea going forward. But we were bad at the back and we still had no idea going yeah. forward. There was nothing going forward. There was just nothing there at all. I was watching us just... I was really struggling to figure out what the plan was. Yeah. I, I didn't see no plan, no pattern to our play. Constantly what giving we the was, ball away. What we was even trying to achieve because... To me, there, there was just nothing there today. And do you blame the manager? Do you blame the players? Have we got good enough players? Or have we not? I'll let other people answer that yeah. question because, yeah, we've, we've got to give him time. But that was it was very poor in my eyes today. It was... three, there was three goals shipped very, very easily today. Mm. And the lads' heads just all went down. And... I couldn't see a scoring in a month or so. I didn't know where a goal was coming from. We... We actually walked out at uh, Seven, three, you know, literally yeah. like 30 seconds before the goal went in. We heard the goal go in, come back in thinking there might be a glimmer of hope to yeah. claw onto, yeah. but there really wasn't because no. we we weren't going to do anything from there and we didn't. Well, yeah. another frustrating evening for the Lions. What can I say, lads? getting better Saturday. We're really worried see it, about yeah. our home form and we're playing a strong team in, in Sunderland on Saturday as well. All we can do is try and think positively. So Come on, you Lions.